Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So, in this lecture, we'll try to see a few more interview questions, and this is one of our favorite question, uh, which any interview can ask a fresher, right? So, what is a difference between a one-way slab and the two-way slab? Or he may ask you, what is one-way slab and what is two-way slab? So, we'll try to uh, answer both the question. We'll start with this. Coming to the types of slab, just listen to me. We have one-way slab and we have a two-way slab. Okay. So when I say one-way slab, what is the meaning of one-way slab? One-way means the slab is going to bend in only one direction. The name two-way slabs means the slab is going to bend in two direction. Okay. Very simple answer you can give. Now you see here, you see this particular portion. Okay. This is a one-way slab. Why is that? It is one-way slab because the bending is only one direction. How is that? How is that bending is only in one, dire one direction? You see this beam is trying to, I mean, this slab is trying to bend in this direction. You may get one question, sir, is it not bending here? It's not bending. It is supported. You can see a brickwork here. A brickwork has been done. So here there is no bending. So bending is only in one direction. It's a one-way slab. Come here. So here the bending will happen in both the direction. That means it's a cup and a saucer arrangement. Okay. I, I mean, it, it's not a cup. It's a saucer arrangement, what we call. Okay. See here, the bending is in this direction also. Got it? Here also it is bending, right? Got it? So this is two-way slab. This is a basic difference between one-way slab and two-way slab. Got it? Good. Now, coming to the one-way slab and two-way slab. Yeah, first we'll start with the one-way slab. That is one definition what I give. That means uh, one-way slab means the slab is going to bend in only one direction. If it is a two-way slab, the slab will bend in both the direction. Got it? Now come to one-way slab again. So here you have to give one more definition. If a slab is supported on all four edges, okay, that means see, let us say the blue color is a slab for me. This is my beam number one. This is beam number two, beam number three, and beam number four. So the definition is if a if a beam, if a slab is supported on all four edges, and if Ly by Lx ratio is greater than two, then I call it as a one-way slab. What is Ly? Ly is you can see this line. This is my Ly, and you can see this one. This is my Lx. So Ly is a longer direction, Lx is a shorter direction. Got it? Yeah. So if you take a ratio of a longer direction to the ratio of a shorter direction, the answer you get, if it is greater than two, I call it as a one-way slab. And here the bending will happen only on the shorter span. This is very important. Anyway, uh, I'll do one thing. I'll not confuse you. Forget about all these things because all these things has been dealt in a more detailed uh, in my course and all. Okay. If you take my uh, construction methodology course, I've explained you all these things in more detailed way. This is not required. Okay. Forget about it because we want one line definition. Even the interview will not have so much time to listen to all your, you know, so much big explanation. Very simple, crisp and to the point. First point, a one-way slab is a one where the bending will happen in only one direction. Good. Uh, if a slab is supported on all the four edges and if Ly by Lx ratio, if it is greater than two, I call it as a one-way slab. Done and dusted. Got it? So for your example, uh, for your understanding, I have given all these things like Ly is a longer direction span. Lx is a shorter direction span. And okay, so six divided by two is three and three is greater than two. Hence, it is a one-way slab. Got it? Now we'll go to the two-way slab. Again, what is two-way slab? Simple definition. If a slab bends in both the direction, then we call it as a two-way slab. Like you can see it here. Here the bending is in this direction and also in this direction, right? So next definition is if a slab is supported on all the four edges and if Ly by Lx ratio is less or equal, this is very important because uh, in a lot of YouTube videos uh, and everywhere, uh, people are not using this term of equal to sign. I'll write it here. Okay, so it is the definition is Ly by Lx Okay, if it is less or equal to two, okay, this is very important. Equal to sign also comes into play. If it is less or equal to two, we call this as a two-way slab. Two-way, two-way slab. Got it? Yeah. If a beam is supported, see here. If a beam is supported on all four edges, that is beam. And if Ly by Lx ratio is less or equal to two, then such slabs are called as two-way slab. Got it? Simple definition done. Another thing I'll add, it's not written there. Listen to me. In one-way slab, the bending can happen. The bending will happen always in the shorter span. Got it? In one-way slab, the bending will always happen in shorter span. Right? Whereas in two-way slab, the bending will happen in shorter span and also in longer span. Okay? That means you see here, 
This is one way slab, which is a, which is a shorter span. This is two meter and this is six meter. This is shorter. So bending will happen in this direction. Only in this direction, your bending is going to happen. Only in this direction, your bending is going to happen. This is a two way slab, right? So here, what will happen? Bending will happen in both the direction along the shorter also it will happen. This, let us say this is shorter along the shorter also it will happen and along the longer let us say this is longer span along the longer also it will happen so both the direction your bending is going to happen right right very simple next question which may ask i have not written it here they can link one more question because when you try to explain something in this way the interviewer is uh, interested to ask you one more question okay great so the question can be in a one way slab where do you provide the main reinforcement I'll repeat the question in one way slab. Where do you provide the main reinforcement before answer is answering this understand the, uh, uh, understand the, what, what do you call that? Yeah. Logic behind that. Always the steel is provided wherever there is bending. So in one way slab, what I told you, the bending will happen in shorter span. So the main reinforcement will be provided in the shorter span. Very simple answer in two way slab. What will happen in two way slab? The bending is happening in both the direction. Shorter span also it is happening. Longer span also it is happening. So in two-way slab, we are going to provide main reinforcement along the shorter span and also along the long span. Whereas in one-way slab, you are going to provide the main reinforcement along the shorter span only. Then longer span, what you are going to do? Longer span will provide the steel in one-way slab, but it is a distribution steel that you need to answer. Very simple. Got it? I'll repeat it once again so that you don't have any confusion. I'll go a, a bit faster. In one-way slab, we provide main reinforcement in the shorter span. In two way slab, we provide main reinforcement in the shorter span and also longer span. He may ask you one more question. Why in uh, shorter? I mean, he may ask you one more question. In one way slab, uh, uh, where do you provide the distribution steel? The distribution steel is provided along the longer span. Wherever you don't require uh, that main reinforcement, shorter span, you provide main reinforcement. Longer direction, no reinforcement is required. You provide a distribution steel. He may ask you, in two way slab, do you provide distribution? No, we don't provide distribution because there the bending will happen in shorter span and longer span. So that uh, main reinforcement itself will act as a distribution reinforcement. This is what you're supposed to tell. They won't ask you to this deep level, but just in case if they ask you, you can tell. Okay. But you yourself should not tell all these th things. You, you, should, you yourself should not invite trouble. If he asks, you answer. If he doesn't ask, you are okay with that. Okay. Got it? Very simple. So I think uh, most of the things I've covered. We have understood what is one way slab, what is two way slab and other things. So we'll see you back in the next lecture.